everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ghost of Mediocre Pokemon VGC 2019 Ultra Series. We're jumping on to Battle Spot, playing some Pokemon VGC 2019 Ultra Series games, as per the usual. So hopefully, I'm hoping the internet, whatever issues were happening yesterday, were finished, were okay, and we're going to be able to battle and record with no issue, and we're going to be able to find an opponent now. Wait, 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 wait for it. We're gonna be able to find an opponent now. People really aren't playing now? I feel like this is a prime time for... There it is. Okay, so we're gonna find Emily. Oh, uh, with a six, high 16... 100 rating. Ooh. This is a really scary team. I'm very frightened of the Ditto. Because I know at least in 2016, a uh, uh, red card Ditto was a thing. And that's scary as heck. Not to mention, Scarf Lele's always a little bit difficult. Stack's a little hard. Who? I think Feeny really helps with the Lele. Feeny's good. I definitely think Feeny's good here. I might even want to go Feeny Groudon. Um, with... Incineroar and Xerneas in the back, maybe? Does that make sense? I feel like I never lead this, but we're doing it. Uh, should we talk about Salamence? Tailwind could be really nice, but I think if I can successfully do Icy Wind things, then that should be okay. I'm also worried about the Trick Room, so it's like I don't want to set up Tailwind and then just have him send Stack in and have the stack trick room. So we're going to go something like this. And my opponent really taking their time, which I fully endorse. I take my time all the time. I, I would never get mad at anybody for taking the allotted time. So we are going to jump into it with Emily, I believe was our opponent's name. Uh, good luck. Have fun. She, she's all in blue. She looks fantastic. Okay, so we're doing our Feeny Groudon lead, which I don't know if we've done. It feels a little bit unusual. Lele Necrozma. Okay. So unless this is some heckin' slow Lele right now, we should get up our... Yeah, we're gonna get up our Surge. So that makes total sense. So this thing could have Trick Room. It could have Wide Guard. could have either of those things, and I feel like Incineroar is an okay switch-in. I could also protect an Icy Wind, but I could see him Trick Rooming. I think Protect Icy Wind is a little bit passive. So I will Icy Wind, though, I think. I could Moonblast into Necrozma, honestly. And I'm going to switch in Incineroar. I think that is a fine play. So Incineroar gets to come in here. I intimidate to what I assume are special special attackers, which isn't a huge deal, but I can fake out next turn. Snarl seems like it'd be pretty good. It is going to burst. Okay, we are going to see a burst. Which means I can fake it out, because it loses its ghost typing. So that's something. Okay, you dazzle. Pretty decent damage to both my Pokemon. We should take this. Yeah, barely, but we do. Barely, but we do. Okay, but both my Icy Winds hit, so that's really nice. I could fake out... I could fake out, I think I, huh, I think I do want to fake out, but it's, does he switch out Necrozma into, what does he want to bring in, stack maybe? Hmm. 
I, uh, I do want to fake out. Because I think if I don't, I just lose Incineroar, and it's super not worth losing Incineroar. But I bet you switch out Necrozma here. Oh, okay, you switch out Lele. And do Groudon. Okay, I'll take an Icy Wind on Groudon. I will take an Icy Wind on Groudon. I never noticed, like, look, so next to my opponent's Groudon, you see, like, the little symbol for Desolate Land. So that's kind of cool. Okay, we're going to hit both our targets again, which is really nice. Um... But who can I switch in here? This is where Salamence would have been really nice. This is where I think Salamence would have been really, really nice. I'm gonna Icy Wind, and do I... Do I let Incineroar go down here? Or do I need Fake Out up? What's more useless, my Groudon or my... Or my Xerneas. I'm going to try to U-turn the Necrozma, but I don't think I'll be able to get it off. Okay, so I'm going to Icy Wind again. I guess I could have Heal Pulse, but I don't think that does me very much either. Okay, so we're gonna see the ult. We're gonna see the Z move. Oops, I have to cover this up. I assume it's going into Feeny. So I am gonna cover this up in three, two, one. Sorry, I like to do the roar. I like to roar with him. Um. So let's see. He's going into light that burns the sky. So for those who don't know, this is copyrighted, which is why I'm covering up with some plus ultra action. Um, so I assume he's light burning the sky, the Feeny, yeah. I don't know if we take this out of terrain at all. Okay, it's going to the Feeny. Okay, I think I can bring us back now. No, oh, we don't take it. They do get the U-turn off, which is nice. Xerneas feels like it's way more useless. So I'm going to bring in Xerneas. Okay, my opponent pressed his blades. We're not going to take this very well at all. Okay, so I assume you bring Lele in here. And you're able to you're able to pick up a double KO. Yeah, so that's gonna be it for this game. What um maybe I should have brought Salamence, but I couldn't lead with it with the Lele. Which is the hard thing. Do I have to go off a of precipice blades miss? Maybe. Um, I'm going to Flare Blitz into the Lele just in case he misses. And do I want to protect my... Is there a point in protecting my Xerneas? I guess it will keep... Yeah, I'm going to protect my Xerneas. But uh, yeah, I screwed this game up pretty badly. I would say. Um, I do get a Flare Blitz off, but I don't think this takes out, which is really unfortunate. Um, it does, actually, so that's nice. We're going to make it a little bit closer. We're going to make it a little bit closer. Okay, so what's my opponent's last Pokemon? Pokemon. 
That is going to be the big question here. It's stack. Ooh. That's really bad. Okay. Do you protect Trick Room or do you Wide Guard? Okay, so here's the tricky thing. Okay. So if I don't attack into the Groudon this turn and it attacks me, I think I just lose. But if I if but if he protects Groudon and he trick trick rooms with stack, then I'm in the same position and it's still really bad. So I think I have to go for stack here. And I'm just gonna dazzling gleam, I think, get a little bit of damage off. Oh, I used wide guard. Okay. I thought he might wide guard, so in that case I should have attacked into the um, Groudon. Which is unfortunate. Is this Groudon at minus one, though? Okay, so he eats the berry, which is really bad. Um, and we don't take out. Yeah, I think that, that that's going to be game. If I had attacked into Groudon there, it would have been different. But I thought maybe you protect Trick Room. I thought maybe you would protect Trick Room there. Um, so I think now I attack into the stack attacker, just in case he protects his Groudon and tries to Trick Room, but I think that I'm overthinking it. He did not! Okay, well now, now it's how specially defensive is his Groudon. Now it's how specially defensive is his Groudon. Oh my gosh, this is really coming down to it. This is really, really coming down to it. Okay. Okay, Groudon. Show your stuff. Show your stuff, Groudon. Yes! Oh my gosh! I cannot believe that game. <sighs> Emily. Very, very well played. Very, very well played. So what were some turning points in that game? Um, okay, so when my opponent wide guarded, I did think about that play. I really did genuinely think about that play. But I thought maybe because he was at minus two speed, he would try to trick room and protect. So I think an even better play would have been for me to moonblast the stack. Would have just been to hard double into it. I think, because that would have picked up the KL and stack attacka, and then I wouldn't have had to play the game next turn, I think. Yeah, I think that probably would have been the better play, but we are going to, we, okay, we, we're going to, kind that felt like a kind of come from behind victory, um, which always feels good, always feels good. I think the thing about Ultra Series, which I'm kind of realizing, is sometimes it feels like you know, there's no way out, but then your opponent, you have such powerful Pokemon that your opponent just has that one, makes that one play, or you make that one play that make it possible for you to get back into it, which I think is kind of cool. Okay, we're going to find our second opponent of the day running a uh, Duskmane Kyogre team. So honestly, I could see this Duskmane just being normal Duskmane, and having Trick Room. I could definitely see it having Trick Room with the Amoongus and the Incineroar, but I could definitely also see Mence having Tailwind. So. Uh, do I go the same Mons again? Do I go... Uh, if it's, if it's just normal Duskmane, that is so hard for this team to deal with. So hard. Um. I'm tempted to, I can't leave Feeny. Look, look at this. I don't think I can leave Feeny, can I? For Mence? Um, but Feeny just catches so many things, it can actually switch into a, it can actually, like, not be bodied by Water Spout, which is super nice. I'm gonna go Feeny. I think I'll go Incineroar. 
I'm gonna go the same ones. I think a case can be made for Salamence here, definitely, for the extra Intimidate, but it just feels like I also need Incineroar, because Incineroar does very well against the Amoongus. It also does well against the, um, uh, it also does well against the, uh, what am I trying to say? Okay, Necromence. Necromence, Necromence. Okay. He has nothing to stop my fake out. Nothing to stop my fake out. But is it worth fake outing? Can I just U turn an icy wind? Because I want to save my fake out. This is when it would be nice to have Salamis as a switch in. But I think I want to deny him. I think I want to deny him Tailwind. Does he have something that can stop my fake out? I do not believe so. I want to deny his Tailwind. Okay, Salamis protects. So I should have um, you turn there. Should have definitely you turn there. And no, uh, no ultra burst. Jeez, this Pokemon is so hard for this team to deal with. Okay, it's just on steel strikes. Doesn't do too much at minus one, which is really nice. Um, can I Flare Blitz the Necrozma? I think I will save the Flare Blitz for now. And I will U-turn. And we'll see what my opponent chooses to go for here. Does... Oh, does, da does Duskmane get... Wide guard. I actually can't remember off the top of my head. I don't think it gets wide guard. Does it? Maybe it does. Geez, why am I second guessing? Did he crit? Are you serious? Okay, well... He's gonna be sun still striking, so I think I have to bring in Groudon. So I can't let Xerneas take a sun still strike. So at minus one, uh, Double Edge would not have taken me out from there. So that's definitely unfortunate, but it's the game we play. What, like, what am I gonna do? Luckily that does nothing, so we call the Sun Steel Strike correctly. So here, I think you switch in your Kyogre. I'm U-turning the Necrozma, and I'm going to switch into my Xerneas, I think. Then next turn, yeah, I think that should work. Maybe. We'll see. This could go horribly wrong. 
But I would assume you'd want to bring in Kyogre here. Yeah. Right? Oh, Amoongus. Okay, not what I thought, but okay. So, I would assume you have Kyogre in the back. I would assume you have Kyogre in the back, but you didn't go for it last time. Okay, so... I can Eruption and Geomancy. I can switch back in my Amoon- I can switch back in my Incineroar and Protect, which is probably the better play. Yeah. Play a little bit safe. I think. Okay, so they, they're not going for that Kyogre switch. Very curious. Very, very curious on the Kyogre switch. Okay, and you have clear smog. Good to know. Because now I'm going to fake out. I'm, I am going to Geomancy. Then I can protect. I can protect switching my grout on. And then be able to eruption Moonblast, I think. Right? Does that make sense? Did I fake out? I just want to make sure now. Okay, men switches. Into Necrozma. Okay. So my opponent could just be hiding the Kyogre very well in the back, and I have to play that he like he doesn't have Kyogre. That's that's I think that's all I can do right now. Oh, because now he can he can spore now. That that's bad. How many turns of tailwind? That's bad. That's bad. If he spores my Incineroar slot, then I lose. I think. Yeah, the crit on the Feeny hurts, but again, what, what are you going to do? Ah, oh, it's so bad. That is so bad. I'm gonna move blast the Necrozma. I think. But definitely well played to my opponent. I can't take any of that away from them. Cannot take any of that away from them. Mm. 
Wow. But we're about to sleep now. So that's unfortunate. If we get the first turn weak, maybe. But we have to get the first turn weak. That's, that's the only way. Oh my gosh, she Okay. Really, really well pl played by my opponent. So he just hid that the whole time. He just hid that the whole time. Ooh, okay, well, we do get an eruption off, so that's nice. Get rid of the Amoongus, that's nice. And your Earth Power. Okay, so we don't take this, I don't think. Oh, we do. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna not be 4 owed. We are going to not be 4 owed. Okay, he just had the Kyogre back there the whole time. Like, literally the whole time. Do I need two first turn wakes? I think I need two first turn wakes. Um. Because I will Earth Power the Necrozma and Moonblast the Kyogre. I have to double into the. Like, hope I get a first turn wake and double into the Kyogre. Okay, two first turn wakes in one game? Nope. Good game. Good game to my opponent. What are you gonna do? I think if we get that first turn wake, we have we have a shot. Cause we would have taken out the Kyogre. Um we definitely have a shot there. I think if we get the other first turn wake. Nice! We make them waste their Z-move! Eat that! So, it's the little victories sometimes. Don't make me block this out, because there ain't no one there to Z-move. Nope. But it failed. I'm, like, way too happy about that. So I'm gonna let my opponent take this last KO. Very well played by my opponent, definitely. Um, they saved their Necrozma till the exact right time. They re they hid their Kyogre from me. It was they did a really really good job, very nice job. So I, I want to. They did get the crit in the beginning, but I want to give them all the credit because they also played flawlessly. So sometimes we're gonna get crits. Sometimes they're gonna get crits. It'll happen sometimes. So really good game to my opponent. Well played, definitely. So my mom, she like works with books, and so she found this book for me, super old Pokemon book, and like it has fat old Pikachu on it. And so there's just a little piece that I want to read, considering we just lost. So it says tip, right in there. It says tip. Teaching your child how to win is important, but no, don't neglect the importance of losing with patience. The game should always remain fun. So I I want to take that into consideration. I feel like patience isn't the right word there, um, but I do want to uh, lose graciously. So uh, again, I will say I think my opponent played flawlessly. Uh, the crit did happen. The game would have been different without the crit, I think. Um, but what are you going to do? So anyway, good game to my opponent. That is going to be all for this episode. We're going to go one and one. I think this is actually the first loss we have featured in an episode. So still super proud of this team. Ways I could have done better. Maybe Mence was the right call. Maybe. So I had a switch in, a little bit better of a switch into Earth Power, perhaps. Um, also considering the Pokemon that my opponent brought, I think that, uh, I think that Ferrothorn could have actually been really good. They did not bring the one Pokemon that was good against Ferrothorn. I guess their Salamence also... No, I assume their Salam... No. 
We saw their uh, Salamence's moves, so it doesn't have a fire type attack. So Barathorn would have actually been really good there. So maybe if I had gone Incineroar, Ferrothorn, maybe you leave. I think you. I leave Xerneas on the bench. I think I go Incineroar, Ferrothorn, Feeny, and uh, and my Grout on there. Cause then I have good. I that gives me pretty good switch ins for most things, but that does mean that really like the only powerhouse I have is the Groudon, which kind of makes me nervous. Everything else is kind of like slow chipping away. So only having one Pokemon that can do damage is always a little bit worrying, uh, which I think is why I tend to not go that way. But I guess Ferrothorn does have the Z move, so can like kind of do damage. But it's just mostly an annoyance with Leech Seed, I think. Um, but yeah, so I should consider bringing Ferrothorn in that matchup, I think. But it's just like, I feel like I can't leave Feeny because, uh, as you saw, being put to sleep was, uh, very bad. Was definitely very bad. But I think I will cut it there. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Not so likely none of that. I do hope that everybody is having an above average day.